The Portuguese man of war is often called a jellyfish, but it's actually a species of siphonophore, a group of animals that are closely related to jellyfish. A siphonophore is unusual in that it's comprised of a colony of specialised generally identical individuals. These are known as zoids and have various forms and functions, all working together as one. Each of the four specialised parts of Man of War is responsible for a specific task, such as floating, capturing prey, feeding and reproduction. Found mostly in tropical and subtropical seas, Man of War are propelled by winds and ocean currents alone, and sometimes float in legions of a thousand or more. Resembling an 18th century Portuguese warship under full sail, the Man of War is recognised by its balloon-like float, which may be blue, violet or pink and rises up to 6 inches above the waterline. Though this sail is always kept inflated so the blue bottle can float on water, in case of emergencies such as a surface attack, the Man of War has the ability to deflate its sail so it can submerge itself underwater for a little while. Lurking below the float are long strands of tentacles and polyps that grow to an average of 30 feet, and may extend by as much as 100 feet. The tentacles contain stinging nematocysts, microscopic capsules loaded with cold barbed tubes that deliver venom capable of paralyzing and killing small fish and crustaceans. While the Man of War sting is rarely deadly to people, it packs a painful punch and causes welts on exposed skin. The Portuguese Man of War can reproduce and multiply so quickly that many times warm water surfaces are covered by swarms of them. There are a number of creatures which are immune to the sting of the Portuguese Man of War. The most interesting of these is the blanket octopus whose young ones carry broken tentacles of the Man of War. They do this to defend themselves from predators. The loghead turtle is also immune to the sting of the Portuguese Man of War. Its skin is so thick that the sting cannot penetrate. In fact, the loghead turtle feeds on the Portuguese Man of War. Some other fish like the clownfish and the yellowjack also choose to live among its tentacles. Swimming among the tentacles of this creature helps the fish to protect themselves from possible dangers, while it also helps the man of war to attract its prey. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.